My name is Luis Garcia Barrios. I'm from Mexico and I work at El Colegio de las Fronteras Sur, which is a multidisciplinary research center. And this game was developed as part of a bigger project that we have in the mountains of Chiapas, Mexico, working with farmers in a, the buffer zone of our reserve, of a biological reserve. So the game was developed uh, looking at problems related with common pool resources, land stewardship, conservation, uh, related with social dilemmas in managing the land. So here we have a, a board which represents 48 hectares of pristine forested land. People will colonize that land with three land uses. One is forest management, gives you one point. Moderate grazing gives you two points. And intensive grazing gives you three points. The game is about making a livelihood. You are four young uh, farmers who live in a community and you will receive land from your elders. You will confront two kinds of limitations. The first ones are environmental. Yes, but here... Yeah, then the limits, yeah. Yes. Yeah, then the yeah, limits. The limit. yeah. And the other is social. In a first session of game, people have to, they live in a moral economy. Everybody must make 24 points or everybody loses. So a lot of cooperation and solidarity is in place. After that, in, there's a second level where the rule is now no moral economy, every woman, every man for himself, and the government will give incentives to direct certain kinds of land uses. Like, I'll give you some money if you conserve, I'll give you some money if you produce a lot of cattle. And that totally changes the interaction dynamics between players. And then people reflect about what change and why. I was a bit aggressive initially in colonizing, but it was much easier position for me because I was able to give it was much better than begging for others. So. What, what you? you have to do is allow other people to help manage your, your business. Because if you don't allow other people to give you advice, then you can't make the right decision. Okay. Do you get the general purpose of the game? Yes. Mm. What, yes. Is, what, is, what is the game about? It's all about cooperating and uh, making, helping each other. The most important role of this game is for people to reflect upon not something that is distant from them, but upon their own experience after playing. So it's reflecting about the environment, how to make a livelihood, and the cooperation and coordination dilemmas that we all confront. It's played by farmers, and then it's the real situation or it's played by academics who are working with farmers, okay? That's one part, like social learning, multi-actor experiencing learning. The other purpose is part of the same thing, but it's more uh, about research. It's what we call social experiments. We put the setting, people play, we take data, and we analyze the behavior of people and then we give back this information to people who play, be they academics or farmers. When we play these two levels, first a moral economy and norms set by the elder, pe people have to cooperate, okay, and they achieve the purpose. But when in a new setting, moral economy is optional, but everybody can say, okay, every man for himself. And using the land in a way depends on external incentives, then there's a big change in behavior. And the most interesting thing we found is that farmers tend to be competitive, but they will be more interested in keeping moral economy. They will not so easily break that rule. Academics, not everybody, but some academics, what they do is they say, hey, let's create a new situation. Why don't you die? I take over your land. I make all those profits from incentives, and then we share. 
it looks like a win-win situation, but only in the short term, because the person who dies and loses, well, he has less land, his family has less land. So it's a kind of land-grabbing situation where the more powerful, the more skillful, the one who has some advantage, the advantage edge, will make a proposition to the less powerful, the more the poorer, and they will collude. And that's something that happens in society.